my name's Adam Place and I'm the founder of New Design and we are the developers of the Alphasphere. I think in a way the first inspiration for the Alphasphere came from having this kind of really disciplined and kind of linear form to play music on the piano and then also being used to kind of using my voice which is obviously like using the voice is like such a free kind of instrument and um, I think it was taking those kind of two components and kind of bringing them together through like the power of technology to create a new musical instrument. I first had the idea when I was at university and got people excited. It wasn't the first idea I'd had but it was the first idea that I did and then every time I did it I seemed to get results and various things kind of allowed the whole process to happen so in a way it feels like the world just kind of opened up. I got a load of espresso cups and basically like stuck them together in a sphere and then I kind of found these little sensors and attach them to like the underside of actually just some balloons and then stretch those over these pads and create this machine that could produce sounds. Revolution. The kind of playing style of a spherical instrument seemed to be quite intuitive and as well as that I was inspired by instruments I've seen such as a hang drum and uh, it's something that lends itself and open up a new kind of playing style that for me kind of represented a departure from the Western tradition as well. So obviously like the keyboard is designed for the piano which is based on like the Western tradition of music and also the piano itself is designed for kind of felt hammers hitting steel strings so it's not designed for the kind of stuff that goes on in like electronic music production and composition so I was just looking for a way of kind of opening up a new dimension of experiencing music. It's all programmable so you can do what you want with it. As you can hear there, that's like a major scale and you could map a major scale around the sphere itself and the cool thing that happens then is from one side of the sphere to the other that makes a perfect fifth so there's like a number of kind of interesting and logical kind of notational arrangements that you can use so you've got like a group of chords in a particular place kind of maps these triangles of chords which isn't like a traditional notational arrangement but it's something that I felt worked really well or really nicely like for me when I played it so it kind of gives you the opportunity to explore different areas and of, of where you'd want like notes or sounds to be. So you've got initially you can have like a sample set up and then you could just play that back just by pressing it. This and then as well as that there are sequences so you could program a step sequencer like in advance. When you press the pads, that will play the sequence back, essentially. It could be MIDI notes, or it could be beats, or it could be like, any number of different things. If you have a look at sculpture here, you can see that control A is set up for touch there. And as you can see, control A is controlling the strength of object two, object two being over here and sculpture is based around kind of physical modelling so it's based yeah. around the concept of a string and like positioning different objects on a string and you can see object 2 over here and then essentially what it's doing is just bringing up like the strength of that object 
So I'll just play that again without triggering a sample at the same time. So you've got this. That's essentially like the effect of object two being just moved like closer to the string and then that changes the way the string sounds. We are approaching a point where it's possible for like, anybody to be a producer, not only of music through technology, but it's possible to be like, a producer of, of a hardware product. Like, there are like, a lot of barriers to entry like, on the whole. However, I think we're coming to a point where it's easier for people to pull ideas and share innovations in technology recently, such as kind of rapid prototyping, some of this stuff is becoming more possible. So what happens with the light at the moment is you just push in one pad and it'll turn, it'll go from blue to green and then when you press two pads together it'll go cycle from green all the way over to red. And it's good for like a club and stuff. Welcome to Dubspot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore Dove Spot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music. <laughs>